Hey everyone, welcome back to another easy programming tutorial. Sorry that my recent videos have been really wide apart in terms of when I created and create and upload them. I've been busy with a lot of other things so I haven't been able to get to my videos. But today I bring you something really short and simple and that's how to use C, uh, C++ header files or .h files. As you can see the program in front of you is the program we did last time which is the index or tutorial where we cut it up into four different functions four different void functions and these are the and this is what came out of our main program the eight piece of eight lines of coding and, and that includes the int main and today what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this up and put it into a header file or a .h file the only difference this time in this program then the last one is the subscript I'm using three instead of seven last time seven that I did last time so I'm gonna run this, run this for you and show you what it looks like so I'm gonna do dog I'll do 300 cat 300 bird 300 if I press enter it'll list them in alphabetical order which is bird cat dog that looks about right so to add a header file we're gonna go up here we're gonna do add new item which is here you can do control shift a which is a good shortcut that's usually what I use and as you can see this is the list and here you have the .cpp file that's what we usually use for our main program and that's what we'll be using for the implementation file but today we're going to select that .header file the .h the header file you can name it anything you want i'll call it um header just to keep it simple it'll be header.h and then just click add or press enter and a header file comes up you can see it, see the name right here and this is the Het -t -t tutorial, the header tutorial, CPP files, the main CPP. That's where I put that here. So we're gonna move back down here just to. And this is the dot header file. I'll put this up here just so you can see what tab I'm in. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. So you know, I'm just gonna copy everything. Actually, I'm not just. Yeah, I'm gonna copy everything. I'm gonna post it here. I'm gonna change just to, to uh, header dot a just to classify what it is and this is all that's going to be in our ma in our header file for now we won't be doing anything else but as you can see we this is going to be repeats we're just gonna delete it it becomes shorter we're gonna have to include something include dot header dot h we use double quotes for this instead of the less than greater than sign like we did for io stream and string that's because we're including an external created file that we created rather than what's inside of C++ in general and this is the main program and later on uh, the next time I'll probably put all of this in an implementation file and what will happen in the main program is that you will only have what you see up here the include header.h and the int main and everything else will be in external files this is good for data hiding I'm sure you've heard of that. You know, if you run programs, they usually have dozens, maybe even hundreds. Some have thousands of different files. They each have little bits of code in it, and this is one way to do it in C++. So let's run it, and hopefully this will run. Oh, there are some build errors. Uh, we'll look at this, and I have, I think I messed up when copying. I'm sorry about that. I uh, yeah, I made uh, really bad mistakes. When you include, you use the pound symbol, the number symbol, the pound symbol. Yep, and then you can run it. Otherwise, it won't um, it won't recognize anything because IO stream isn't included, uh, string isn't included, using namespace standard isn't included. Everything will get you give you an error. And there it is. You know, I'll do uh, same thing last time. Doc 300, cat 300, bird 300. If I press enter, it'll run exactly the same way. There. That's the header files for you. It's really easy, and all you had to do was sorry. Ah oh, man, I hate that thing. Anyway, yeah, the, all you had to do is just cut it up, put it into a header file, which is in this tab. You don't have to put anything special. You don't have to have any parentheses or anything. Um, I mean brackets. Uh, the I use team string string is included here, so you don't have to re-include it here. I've seen some compilers where they make you do it for some reason. Uh, the one I use on my campus at school uh, won't run unless I have um, IO stream and string in both files for some reason, including when I use an implementation file, which is really a waste. 
but yeah, there you have it. This is that add header files. You can use others. You can in the header files. You can put anything here. You can include structs, classes, trees. You know whatever else you have. Hopefully later on I'll show you how to use classes with header files and implementation files. And thanks for watching this time. Uh, remember to visit easyprogramming.net. I'm in the process of changing everything to PHP there instead of uh, using full HTML to make it easier. So everything may not be updated right away. So thank you for thanks for your patience and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.